Good afternoon. It is my privilege and pleasure as Interim Assistant Dean of Academic Affairs to welcome you to the AUC Celebration of Academic Excellence. My greetings extend to the AUC students who are being honored here today and to their family and friends who have supported them along their journey. This is the first Celebration of Excellence in which we welcome our students from the AUC UK track who are joining us from Preston, England. Welcome to our amazing faculty and administ administrators from both campuses and a warm welcome and thank you to the Student Government Association and our dedicated staff who provided the support to make our first ever remotely delivered celebration of academic excellence. While we take pride in all of our AUC students, we are especially proud of you, the students that we are celebrating here today. 175 of you will be receiving awards for making the Dean's List last semester and 22 of you will be inducted into the Honor and Service Society. 15 of you will be receiving individual awards for outstanding academics and service in the January 2020 semester. And what a unique and challenging semester it was. The global pandemic that led us to switch from classroom to remote teaching abruptly ended the studies of many medical students worldwide. However, AUC students showed their resilience and continued the semester after only a brief pause to relocate and adjust to online delivery. I encourage you to take time to reflect on just how extraordinary that pivot was and to know how proud we are of you in your ability to not only continue your studies, but to honor them. Well done. During last semester, many of you went home to your communities and became involved with volunteer activities towards COVID-19 related healthcare, and more recently are participating in the Black Lives Matter movement. As you grow into your role as physician leaders, remember that what you do every day has an impact on someone and you can make it a positive impact by living the oath you took during your white coat ceremony. It is clear that the individuals we are celebrating today have embraced and embodied the BRISE values of resilience, inclusion, service, and excellence. You showed resilience through honoring your courses despite the challenges of the pandemic. You are inclusive in your support of our diverse AUC and St. Martin communities. Your service to peers and community is outstanding and you performed at a level of excellence that is required and rewarded in medicine. Your lifelong dreams and many, many hours of hard work, as well as friends and family and faculty have gotten you to where you are today. Congratulations. Once again, I warmly welcome all of you to this wonderful celebration of academic excellence. Now, I would like to introduce our guest speaker, who many of you may already know. He is a 2020 graduate of AUC, who worked this past year as an academic fellow while he has been preparing for residency and completing a master's degree. He will begin an internal medicine residency at the White River Health System in Arkansas in about two weeks. 
Please join me in welcoming Dr. Sobi El Hayek, who will deliver our congratulations speech. Welcome, Sobi. Congratulations on taking your first step towards killing the Step 1 exam. What you have and will achieve here at AUC directly impacts your success on your board exams. Again, congrats. Putting that aside though, I want to talk about what makes a good doctor, because you are already on your way to do just that. I started medical school with the dream of becoming a doctor. It seemed so far at the time, and now that it's here, I look back and say that the journey at AUC has led me to be the person and doctor I am today. I made lifelong friends, learned all about medicine, and grew as an individual. I know I don't have to tell you that medical school has its struggles. I can't count the number of times I thought I wasn't good enough or wanted to quit medicine. But it's so much more than that. I learned to be a leader, a scholar, an advocate, and most importantly, a friend. Doctors are leaders in the medical field. You will notice this when you get to your clinics. Doctors use their knowledge of the medical and clinical sciences to decide how to best treat the patient. In today's era of evidence-based medicine, research is key to this success and will prove helpful in your applications to residency and in your future career. Explore your interests and develop your leadership in service, organizations, and research, while finding a mentor that shares these interests and will help you achieve your potential. You all have done something that has never been done before. You achieved Dean's List grades in a remote medical school learning environment while dealing with a pandemic. I'm gonna let that one sink in because it's absolutely extraordinary. But I'll go ahead and give you one piece of advice anyway. Anyone who has talked to me in the past year knows that questions are key. I have found that the more questions you do, the better you perform and retain knowledge. Treat these questions as your patients and take them seriously. Because before you know it, that 34 year old man with right lower quadrant abdominal pain will be looking to you for comfort and guidance. Care for yourself and your patients and those close to you. Make time for exercise, eat right, and have a life outside of medicine. These things will prove to be more important at keeping you happy, healthy, and a strong patient advocate than any all-nighter before an exam. Treat each case you encounter as novel and groundbreaking. Remember that although this is just another heart attack to you, this may be the worst day of your patient's life. In the midst of these uncertain times, I encourage you to stop and reflect. Although you are medical students today, you will be leaders in medicine tomorrow. Learn as much as you can from this pandemic because you may be called upon for advice and maybe even give the press briefing during the next one. Over the next two to four years, you're going to learn how to apply your knowledge to the clinical setting in order to make a difference in a patient's life. This led me to an international medical education in four countries, three of those being in clinicals. Buckle up and enjoy the ride. Keep that dream of being a doctor alive and know that you are good enough and nothing can hold you back. Now, back to the main question. What makes a good doctor? Well, let's wait and see how each and every one of you answers that question. The Professor of the Semester Award is given to a professor who goes above and beyond to ensure student success at AUC. We had four professors who were nominated this semester for this award. Um, they have all made significant impact in our learning that will help us later in our journey of medical school and even when we'll start practicing medicine. So we had to vote on one professor and the professor that got the most votes has come up in our minds even during the recent exams. Uh, here are some of the comments that were given by the students. The main thing I appreciate uh, from this professor is the honesty. The professor never tried to trick us just simply teach and make sure we learn and made the material easy to grasp and always kept it entertaining. This professor was always willing to answer questions and make you feel heard in the class and outside the class. Um, you, uh, and here's another comment. So you could really tell how passionate this professor was about teaching uh, through the energetic spirit every day. 
uh, the professor was very knowledgeable about the content and when unsure, this professor always got back to us the next day. This professor went above and beyond to provide board-like questions uh, for us on a weekly basis. The professor was always available during office hours uh, where the professor encouraged us one-on-one. -on -one. And my last point is that the professor often came to the church with CMDA and even brought um, the professor's kids, which was very nice. The, uh, and here's another comment from uh, another student. Uh, the professor was an out outstanding professor. Guidance and diligence has helped me solidify many aspects of the class. The professor went over several board review textbook and Q banks to ensure that the material we had learned was comprehensive. In return, our readiness for the step and clinicals is going to make us better physicians. Uh, the last comment I want to mention um, is a very short and sweet. Um, this professor has telepathic powers and talked to me during the PATH shelf exam. I passed. Um, so um, let's join and give a round of applause to this professor um, who received the Professor of the Semester Award. And it goes to Dr. Rushing. Hello, everyone. My name is Dear Gala, and I'm the president of the AUC UK SGM. I'd like to start by greeting all the deans, faculty, administration, my fellow students, and their friends and family. On behalf of the AUC UK family, I'd like to congratulate all the Dean's List students on their exceptional academic performance. This would not have been possible without the support and guidance of our phenomenal faculty. And to appreciate this, I would like to present the best faculty of the semester award. For semester one, this award goes to our anatomy professor, Dr. Gargi Soni. Dr. Soni made one of the hardest classes in medical school, one of the easiest. She went above and beyond what was expected of her, and we would like to thank her for that. For semester two, this award goes to our immunology professor, Dr. Serena Muntaka. Dr. Muntaka's interactive teaching style made learning and understanding immunology much simpler. Her hard work has helped us build a strong foundation which will help us in all our future classes. Lastly, this is not only an evening to celebrate the success of the students, but also to acknowledge the progress that AUC has made in the last year. Starting with the opening of a new program in a different country, the resiliency shown during these hard times and the support that has allowed us to be united as one AUC family. I would like to conclude by thanking all the deans, faculty and administration and good luck to my fellow students. Good afternoon, respected deans, academic and administrative faculty, my colleagues and the whole AUC family. First of all, I would like to thank my honor and service society members for allowing me this opportunity to represent. Congratulations to all of you. You are here today because of your hard work and high academic achievements. I can't believe the basic sciences chapter of my marathon has come almost close to the end. Reflecting back, I remember my first day on the island. I was excited to start this new journey at AUC. Having worked, however, having worked full-time for nine years prior to joining AUC, leaving family behind in the United States, and realizing the stigma attached to the Caribbean Medical School, I wasn't sure if I had made the right decision in choosing AUC for my medical education. By the end of week one, I made a lot of friends. I found myself in the cohort of students from diverse cultural backgrounds, but all with similar enthusiasm and determination. I saw professors who were truly motivated um, in teaching. I also remember uh, meeting Dean Chumley during the International Conference on Disaster Medicine and Hurricane Resiliency. The conversation I had with her gave me hope and confidence. 
Even after advancing to upper semesters, there were times when I felt overwhelmed. There were times when I wasn't excited for another day of pathology. But our professors going extra mile and holding reviews before the exams and wanting to see us succeed kept me motivated. It taught me to persevere and keep fighting. Getting involved in different extracurricular activities on and off campus made me realize that opportunities for service to others do not get limited by attending a small campus or being on a small island. Playing ping pong for hours, playing against professors for upcoming classes, which I had been warned not to, and even if I did not to beat them, studying for 16 hours in a row, and going to the beach with friends after block exams. These will remain in my heart as beautiful memories, and I feel very fortunate to have been part of one AUC family. Had I not cleared the doubts I carried when I first came to AUC, I would not have been here today sharing my story. As Susie Kasim said, doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. So when in doubt, seek help, have a conversation with your professor, wellness counselor, one of the deans, a friend, or even a family member. After all, our medical journey is a marathon and support from people around us is what helps us um, to stay motivated when we run a little low on that. Lastly, but most importantly, I want to thank my wife uh, and my mom for supporting me throughout all these semesters. I couldn't have made it this far without them. This concludes our module on hard work, perseverance, and believing in yourself. Thank you, congratulations again, and wish you all the best. Good evening students, faculty, administrators, proud family and friends. My name is Emery Newkirk and I'm the current student body president of the American University of the Caribbean Medical School. 
I would like to congratulate all the Dean's List students for their commitment to their education, exemplifying our RISE values, and showing resiliency during these times of COVID-19. Congratulations on this outstanding achievement. Many students on our Dean's List are also tutors for their fellow colleagues and participate in representing AUC as members as one or more of our many student organizations. Tonight, we all come together to celebrate you and your achievements, and we look forward to your future achievements.
My name is Manuel Holland and I am a fifth semester class representative and I am here to present the Tarek Award. The Tarek Award is traditionally given to a student who the student body has felt has been there above and beyond as a tutor. And the student that we are presenting this award to, uh, I am told that he doesn't hesitate in helping people. He always has time to do one-on-ones and from one instance of what I've heard of someone who knows Tarek, he emulates him. This award is going to be given to Joseph Varney. I will be talking about the Gene Coburn Award. Now the Gene Coburn Award is awarded every semester by the anatomy, embryology, and histology courses to the one student, not only with the highest GPA, but also a commitment to serve his or her fellow students. This slide shows the top, uh, shows the top candidates for this award, and this was a very close race between all three of these students, and the difference between the, these three students was less than one percentage point. But not, not only did the, the winner of this award 
um, have the highest GPA, but she has continued to help other students by being a tutor for histology lab as well as MCV lab. And again, she's really helped the, her fellow students. The winner of the Gene Colbert Award for Summer 2020 is Luna Emma Jean. Once again, congratulations, Luna. I'm Dr. David Rada, the course director of the Molecular and Cell Biology One course in first semester. It's my pleasure to be able to announce the winner of the MCB1 Academic Excellence Award. This award is given to the outstanding student in MCB1 from the previous semester in recognition of their achieving the highest grades, demonstrating professionalism, and serving as a role model for other students. Before I give the award, I would like to recognize two runners up for the award, um, both of whom had excellent semesters, um, achieving nearly perfect grades. The two runners up are Bushra, Shazad, and Amari Jackson. So congratulations to both of you. And now uh, to announce the winner of the MCB1 Academic Excellence Award for the January 2020 semester, Luna Emajin. Luna is a remarkable student who completed the semester um, without missing a single exam question and achieving perfect grades. She also volunteered as a course tutor for MCB1 and perhaps most importantly, uh, she is the first ever winner of the Who Wants to Be an MCB Star competition. Congratulations, Luna, for an outstanding, remarkable semester. Also, congratulations to the runners-up, Bushra and Emery. And also, congratulations to all students who are on the Dean's List this semester. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm honoured to be presenting the Molecular and Cell Biology MCB2 Academic Excellence Award this semester. Um, first of all, congratulations to the two runners-up for this award. These two students um, made the shortlist for their excellent academic performance and also for tutoring MCB2. Um, so congratulations to Majid Paracha and Jordan Frazier. Um, and congratulations for being shortlisted and thank you very much for your help with tutoring and peer-to-peer and -peer tutoring. And so the recipient of the MCB2 award this semester goes to a student for her outstanding academic performance, which included getting 100% on the comprehensive MCB2 final. That's not something that happens very often. And she's currently an MCB2 class tutor as well. Congratulations to Michelle Borita. Well done. This semester, we are presenting a standalone award for the most successful student in medical microbiology. Uh, the runners up for this inaugural medical microbiology award are Colin Kaler and Simone Martin. Well done, Colin and uh, Simone, and please keep up the good work. Uh, the recipient of the inaugural medical microbiology and, uh, award is Ori Oya Olaniwan. Many congratulations, Ori. Congratulations to all four applicants for their stellar academic performance in Physiology One. The award recipient this semester earned a Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Science from the University of Ottawa. During his college years, he gained valuable research experience and significant community involvement by volunteering his time at a local mental health clinic and hospital, as well as taking on the roles of wrestling coach for high school students and live-in caregiver for one of his mentors. His passion to serve others in Canada has extended to the AUC community and his involvement as faculty and field liaison for the Oncology Club, and his efforts to assist fellow students as a Histology, Anatomy, and Physiology One course tutor. Please join me in congratulating the semester's Physiology One Outstanding Student Award recipient, Miles Melamed. The Medical Microbiology and Immunology Prize is awarded each semester to a student who has excelled in both courses and in addition who has contributed to the success of lower semester students 
by uh, tutoring in one of the two courses. Now this semester, as usual, we had several uh, qualified candidates for this award and we have two runners-up in Lan Nguyen and Leah Wittes. So well done Lan and Leah. But on behalf of Dr. Finkel Jimenez, Dr. Gannon, Dr. Stanley and myself, I am pleased to present the Medical Microbiology and Immunology Award for this semester to Emmanuel Holland. Congratulations, Emmanuel. On behalf of Dr. Michael and myself, it is my pleasure to present the winner of the May 2020 Outstanding Physiology Student of the Semester Award. To qualify, students must honor Physiology 2, tutor Physiology 2, and have made a significant contribution to the St. Martin and AUC communities. We invited 19 students to apply, and of those, we selected a winner and two runners-up. They are Ori, Sumaya Chowdhury, and Colin Collar. All three of these students scored 97% or higher in Physiology 2, and all made significant contributions to AUC and St. Martin. It was a very difficult decision. Our winner grew up in Queens, New York, and is the Northeast Regional Leader for AUC COVID-19 volunteers. This person spoke fondly of working in the soup kitchen here in St. Martin and actively participated in both research and tutoring. I'm pleased to announce that the winner is Sumaya Chowdhury. Congratulations. All right, who's ready for another exciting night of pathology? Woohoo! All right, my name is Dr. Cecil Cohn. I'm the third semester lead. I am also the course director for Pathology One. I am here to present the Pathology One Outstanding Student Award give it in honor of Dr. Dale Van Warmer. Now, this year there were many good applicants, but three stood out among the rest. But as you know, just like in the movie Highlander, there can only be one. So therefore, the winner of this semester's award is, drum roll please, <laughs> Colin Kaler. Congratulations, Colin. Good afternoon, AUC family. This is one of those unique moments in AUC that I always, always look forward to meeting with you all during the celebration of academic excellence of our esteemed students. Owing to the COVID circumstances, we are unfortunately unable to meet you physically. Although the global pandemic posted great challenges in terms of adjusting, learning and preparing for exams and worst of all, taking the exams is so difficult remotely, our students proved that no threat could blur their goals and no threat could stop their progress. I must congratulate, I must congratulate the entire class that took the neuroscience course this January 2020 and performing so well. Now coming to the most challenging task for me every time, and in fact, more so this time, to pick the student who performed the best in terms of academic excellence. Why? Because we had four students, and all the four students had a perfect on neuroscience. Ashira Kanta, Mackenzie Garrett, Indian Land, and Tanya Gorban Hazar. All four of them obtained 100% on the exam. Now came the task I had to think back and forth, looking at their other performance in terms of that's what we normally do, in terms of their participation in the class, in terms of their participation with the AUC student community, course tutoring, peer tutoring, etc. In terms of their participation in the St. Martin community, all these things put together, I had to 
make a very difficult decision out of this four and finally come up with Ashirat Panta as the winner of this neuroscience award for academic excellence. The entire class did well, like I said, and I'm sure they'll continue to do well. I wish everyone the very best in the future endeavors. Thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of uh, Bathology 2 and 4 semester faculty, uh, it's my pleasure to uh, present uh, the Dale Van Wormer uh, Award for Achievement in Bathology 2. Uh, this uh, award is awarded to the outstanding student in surgical and clinical pathology based not only on the academic performance, but also on uh, character and achievement of the student. Uh, this student uh, exemplifies the intellectual rigor, absolute integrity and dedication to learning manifested uh, by Dalvan Wormer, MD, during his distinguished and accomplished career as professor of pathology at the American University of the Caribbean. I have to say that was a special class. I have, we have 10 finalists and I talk to all of you and tell you each one of you truly deserve this award, but eventually there should be one of you selected and that's what we did. Uh, this uh, uh, student uh, is awarded this award not only for being the top academically, but uh, uh, judging the uh, uh, multiple achievements for AUC and for the community. The award is given to Mackenzie Garrett, Good evening, everyone. My name is Wandikai Matrawi. I am the course director for pharmacology at AUC. And on behalf of my colleagues, Joseph Miller and Ravi Bidimani, I would like to thank all the candidates who submitted their applications for this outstanding award in pharmacology for last semester. We had six candidates altogether. All these candidates were very well qualified and any of them could have taken the prize, but unfortunately it can only be awarded to one. So the criteria we used for determining who would get the award included honoring the course, which means a grade of 90% or over, community service, leadership in student organizations and throughout community, and most important for us, tutoring and helping to disseminate the knowledge of pharmacology, especially in fourth semester. So these were students who served as tutors, either peer-to-peer uh, peer -peer tutors or course tutors, which involves a lot of work uh, and a lot of commitment. After determining all these uh, different criteria for who would get the award, it was decided unanimously that the award would go to Ashabad Panther. Congratulations, Ashabad. I would like to thank all the other contestants for having actually competed for this particular award and I wish you all well. Thank you and congratulations to everybody else who's getting an award in all the other disciplines. Thank you and good night. Hi, I am Dr. Natalie Humphrey, Course Director in Behavioral Science, and I'm pleased to announce the Outstanding Student Award for Behavioral Science. We had many applicants that were wonderful, and our runner-up was Miss Nida Salim. We would like to acknowledge her grace, her poise, her life experience, and her willingness to integrate what she has learned in the past with what we're willing to introduce. She was a benefit to the entire class, and we wish her all the best in the future. The winner of the Behavioral Science Award for this semester is Ms. Jasmine Millen. Jasmine, you applied the principles of behavioral science to improving the health and well being of students and community members alike during your time in St. Martin and Medical Sciences. You take the leadership role in improving health literacy of people in St. Martin specific to understanding sickle cell disease. You took the lead in leading a mentorship program for player development where social skills were promoted among high-risk children. 
You took the lead in gaining access to psychosocial assessment for kids that are at risk here in St. Martin, a contribution that is going to last semesters and years to come. And through all that, you earned a 96% in the behavioral science course. Jasmine Millen has shared with us that she will be using the behavioral science course to further develop her communication skills and develop more holistic understanding of who her patients are. She says that she'll be now more effectively able to manage patient care during her clinical rotations. We don't doubt that. We thank you for your contributions, Jasmine Millen, and we wish you the best in your future. Good evening, everyone. It is my pleasure to present this semester ICM-5 Academic Excellence Award to Alexandria King. Ali completed ICM-5 with the highest score of 98.7. Additionally, she served as Vice President of St. Students Government Association, and she also served community of St. Martin by participating in all community action days and community outreach programs. On behalf of ICM faculty and staff, I would like to congratulate Ellie with her outstanding achievements and wish her ongoing success in her medical career. Thank you. Good afternoon. I have the honor of presenting the Social Accountability and the Student Engagement Scholarships. Students applying for a scholarship submit an essay describing their record of engagement with St. Martin communities or in the AUC campus community, and perhaps more importantly, the learning derived from the engagement. The Social Accountability Scholarship is presented today to Bo Wang. Bo's record of community engagement reads like a curriculum grounded in learning from multiple sources of knowledge and in the values of respect, humor, gratitude, and love. One chapter in his community textbook speaks to his openness to learn from handing out, hanging out, and playing with cognitively challenged teenagers along the beach, holding their hands up and up and down the stairs and appreciating their willingness to trust him. Through all his activities, Bo's intentional approach fostered his appreciation for the opportunity to learn from a variety of sources and a fuller understanding of your patient is your best teacher. Congratulations and thank you to Bo Wang. The Student Engagement Scholarship is presented to Rachel Johnson. Rachel's contributions to the AUC community is based on her realization of the challenges of both a global pandemic and soaring racial and political tensions and her belief in the importance of lifting each other up through community. Rachel created the All Club Mentor Program to connect incoming students with a peer mentor from a student organization. 21 AUC student organizations participated in the inaugural semester and nearly 100 upper semester student mentors were pa paired with 74 new student mentees. Rachel's initiative is worthy of recognition in and, in and of itself, but what sets it apart is the collaborative spirit, providing a strong foundation. Congratulations and thank you to Rachel Johnson. Congratulations to all the AUC students on the achievements that are recognized in this celebration of academic excellence. Your success is the result of determined effort. We delight in your dedication and commitment. As the UK Track Associate Dean, I want to share the congratulations from faculty to our UK Track students for their stellar performances 
in our first two semesters of delivery of the AUC curriculum. Your goal of mastering the medical sciences is being realised. We acknowledge the achievements of all students on the latest Dean's List on the UK track. Asaf, Dia, Lisa, Uma, Rochelle, Mark, Manvia, Kash, Samaya and Ahmed, our congratulations. I want to recognise the standout and first class performance of Dia Gala. Dia has recently achieved top marks for the UK track in MCB2, Physiology 1 and Immunology. In Semester 1, Dia gained the highest marks for MCB1, Gross Anatomy and Histology and Embryology. A standout performance of a doctor in the making. Dia, together with Samaya and Michelle, share the honour of the top marks in Biostatistics. In our Semester 1 awards, we acknowledge the success of Manvia, for MCB1 and Gross Anatomy, and the accomplishments of both Voltage and Mark, who scored top marks in Histology and Embryology. It is said to aspire is to achieve. Your achievements here with AUC started first as a dream to come to medical school. Now, your aspirations are coming to fruition. I hope that all students we celebrate today, bolstered by your flourishing academic studies, continue to thrive on a path of becoming skilled and caring future doctors. My congratulations. Hello again. In closing of this celebration, I would like to briefly discuss the celebration of Juneteenth which signifies the independence of African Americans from over 240 years of slavery. Now, the 13th Amendment to the Constitution, which was passed on January 1st, 1865, abolished all slavery. However, during that time, there were no cell phones, texting, Instagram, etc. So it took until June until states like Texas and Tennessee got the word. Even then, we don't know exactly which date they got the word, ergo the term Juneteenth. Now, over the years, people have come to say, okay, let's celebrate it on June the 19th. It is a day of celebration, of fun, of music, games, and food. And during that time, someone should read the 13th Amendment to the Constitution, which states, Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. And with that, I bid you good night and have a good rest of the evening. Thank you. Before we close our celebration of excellence, I once again thank our students from St. Martin and the UK, their family and friends, faculty, deans, and staff for making this such a wonderful event. I will take this opportunity to share a quote from the extraordinary anthropologist Jane Goodall. I think empathy is really important, and I think only when our clever brain and our human heart work together in harmony can we achieve our full potential. The Dean's List and other honors presented here today confirm that each of you have clever brains. Your generous service to your AUC colleagues and St. Martin community show how human and empathetic your hearts are, and I commend all of you for choosing to study the science and art of medicine at AUC as the pathway to reach your full potential. Congratulations.